to stop them here and get good field position. Bruce, and an explosive offensive football team, the Admirals, averaging 29.1 points per football game. They're, they're never out of a game. They've had several football games where they've beaten opponents 41-38, 42-39, some crazy scores. Seven or nothing at the moment. Take the ball. Evans rolls to his right and looks and looks and looks and throws, and he got a man, and he dropped it. Man, he had a man open on the 41. It just slithered through his hands. Somebody was over there, but I just think he dropped it. And I, again, I say this weather could have an effect on that football. That man was open. John, from our vantage point, it looked like a drop. Did we get a hand on that? Uh, no, Tommy, that was a drop pass is what that was. Uh, I guess maybe the uh, ball being a little slick, maybe the jersey being a little slick, went right through his arms, and uh, ball falls incomplete. Fourth down for Farragut. And they need nine, and they got a punt, and they will stand on about uh, three. He'll have to punt it from the three. Snap will come from around the 16. Snap is back. The punt's away. It's a line drive punt, returnable punt. Caught by Reeder on the 45. Reeder's to the 50. Reeder gets out of bounds. Good return. Well, a good catch, and Reeder saved a lot of yardage for catching that football. He returned it all the way down to the 47. Terry, pretty good job by Reeder. Pretty good punt, Bruce. It was a low line drive. If he had not caught it, it probably would have hit the ground and rolled. 38 yards on the punt, seven yard return by Reeder. That's where 11 of the takeover on Knoxville Fair gets 47. We lead seven to nothing, and we need to put something together here before the half. 5.30 to go in the half. Lebanon brings them, our trip that brings his team to the line. Workman's the center. Tight ends, Job on our side. Moe's to the left. Reader comes motion towards us. Cantrell fullback, Sellers tailback. Pass out in the flat, wide open. Thompson, Moe juggles, dropped it. Never got control of it. Moe looked like he might have took his eyes off the ball and tried to run with it, and that's happened a lot of times to receivers, and I think that's exactly what he did. He was going to run before he caught it. Terry, on the season, Mo Thompson's got 38 receptions. How does he rank uh, career-wise? Career-wise, since Medley's been at Lebanon, the leading receiver would have been Ramon Shockley with 60 receptions. Mo Thompson now has 58. He's only two receptions away from being the leading receiver since Mark Medley has come to Lebanon. I sit, take the ball, run a draw, fake the draw, look deep, long pass, more way down the field, he couldn't hang on. Man, it was sliding through his hands on the seven. That was an excellent thrown football, folks. Moe was on the seven. He was behind his receiver. He was trying to pull it in, but he just couldn't. Moe obviously in, in great shape as, as he's running those deep routes tonight. He checks back into the huddle. He's not going out. Steve Rose comes in. Cantrell checks out. Lebanon looking at a third down and long. 5.19 to go in the first half. That's the second time we've had to hit them on, tried to hit them on a post pattern. And that time, Moe was behind him. Reader comes in motion towards us. We run a fake draw and a flash and a flat incomplete. The reason for that being incomplete is they shot an in, I think, or a linebacker, and Triple had to really get rid of it, but Rose was wide open in the flat, but the rush is what caused it. Ryan McGuire, defensive end, came hard on the rush. What we're trying to do is to get Rose out in the flat. That's the same play we scored the touchdown on. McGuire, though, six foot 205, came and flattened Greg just as he was releasing the football, causing the overthrow. Bo Grissom deep to return once again. Back uh, is Gein and Wood for the Admirals. Snaps a good one and the punt's away. A punt will go away from everybody and hit and backpedal and we'll down it somewhere around the 26. So kicking into that breeze, they'll spot the ball, I think, on the 25 or 26. Terry, what do you got? From the Knoxville 47, looks like they're going to down it just outside the 25. That'll be a 21-yard punt. That's where Knoxville Farragut will take over first down. So Farragut came in here averaging 29, almost 30 a game. And they're capable of striking you quickly, but right now they haven't scored. But they've been down there, but our, their interceptions has killed them. Thompson's picked off a couple, and we've got another one from somebody, and I forgot. Ron C. with All that right. third one. Ron C.'s picked one off. 
Draw up the middle. There's all seeming him in and turning him back, and then we hit him, and everybody's trying to get to him. He won't go down, and the whistle finally blows as he scrambles up to the 25 or 26 or 7-yard line. Zach Greer was there also. All's turned him in, our big right tackle, and he got about two out of it, second and eight. Fontenot on the carry, and Terry, he's carried the football quite a bit tonight for the Admirals. He has six carries tonight, Tommy, 21 yards. Eskridge tonight has already carried the ball nine times for 37. Seven and nothing. Lebanon hangs on to a slim touchdown and an extra point lead late in a half now. We're down to 404. And Avens, the quarterback, drops straight back, looks, looks, throws, way and open, caught, I think, up on, no, they say incomplete. Now I see the ball out there. We hit him. I think that was Greer, maybe Joel Griffith, too. Right on about the 35, jarred loose, incomplete, third down and eight. Double G on that tackle as Greer and Griffin combined. They tried to hit Russian, W-R-I-S-H-E-N, Russian, on the little turn in incomplete and now the Admiral's looking at a third down and eight. Third and eight. Evans brings his team to the line. He spit, puts two wide outs wide to the right. Split in is to the left. Split backs. Evans draw. Looks for a hole. Can't find one. That was Hasty hitting first. Then I think Adams got him. Hasty tripped him up and rose and Adams. Adams finished him off. He didn't get it. Got up to about the 26. He didn't hardly get anything. Maybe back to the line. Fourth down, 336 and a half. Stallings to punt for the Admirals. On the season, this guy's average 41 yards a kick. Stallings will retreat and stand back on about uh, 13. And Reeder will stand on uh, 37 or 8. The up man is Ron C. on a 50. Snap is back. It's a good one. It's a punt. Good punt. Long, long punt. Reader just lets it go over his head. It'll roll all the way inside the 10. Great punt by Stallings. Terry, that's a long one. It's inside the 10. We're up around the 5, isn't it? Well, looks like they're going down it at the 7, Bruce. That's all the way from the Knoxville Farragut, 27. It rolls dead at the 11 and 7. That's 66 yards on the punt. 11 and backed up in their own, back deep in their own territory at their 7. So that'll help your average. That time, that thing just sailed over Reader's head, and then it hit on that wet turf and kind of slid to the 7. Lebanon comes out. They're on the 7. Triplets a quarterback. 251. Reader in motion. Reader. Triplet back to pass. We're going deep. Marmo Thompson overshot him up on the 47. So we were not being conservative tonight, folks. We we're putting it in the air, even though it is raining. Terry, what about Greg tonight throwing the football? Tommy, 12 attempts tonight for Greg. Four completions, four of 12, 49 yards, and a touchdown. So he's not having a great percentage tonight, 33% of that, four out of 12, but we are putting it up in the air here in the first half. And so is Farragut, and they've had three interceptions. It's really killed them. Lebanon comes out of the huddle, 240s. We look at the clock to our right. I set, motion is reader, tripped it, long count, takes the ball and runs a sweep to Sellers. He cuts it in, Farragut's all over him on the nine. Got two yards to the nine, and it's second and eight. Farragut has not used any timeouts or have they? How many timeouts they got? First, neither team has used a timeout, so both teams would have their full complement of three timeouts. And, Bruce, there are no good plays to call. Second and nine. Check it, third and nine from deep in your own territory. Uh, the defense can, can really go after the quarterback now. Third down and nine, and we're on about the nine. It may be eight and a half or somewhere in there. We've got to try to get it out of here before the half. Late in the half now with 150. Drive out there, caught. Nice play. Seller, 15, 20. I think he got a first down. He did. That's that pace that Miami uses a lot. We see in college ball, and Tennessee does too. 
we had Sellers out there, and he catches it behind the line, and all them blockers get in front of him. That's one of them can can go all the way. He went across the 20 and went to the 23. Let me retract that earlier statement about there being no good calls to make on third and nine as a Miami screen work for a good play, Terry. Uh, 14 yards, two sellers as Lebanon moves it up to the 23, and more importantly, they get a first down. So that helped us on the clock, even though we're still down on the 23, we won't have to punt. Farragut's lined up in a four-man front and a lot of secondary people. They shoot a linebacker. We pick him up. We drop back. They're rushing and trip it, trip it's outside. He's looking. He's running. He's scrambling. He's fighting for his life to the 25 or 26. They were shooting a linebacker in Farragut once a time, and we do too, and it's 7 to nothing, and we'll be back. Hello. I'm Laura Pack. And I'm Melanie Rock. We are here at Rochelle McCullough and Oz with Jody Oz, Jessica Duggar, and Barry Tatum to make a small presentation. On behalf of the Blood Devil Booster Club, LHS cheerleaders, coaches, players, and fans, we would like to thank you for your support and also present to you a souvenir stadium cushion as a token of our appreciation. The law firm of Rochelle McCullough and Oz is proud to be a supporter of the Lebanon High School Blue Devils football program. Go Big Blue! Coming out. A minute eight to go in the second half as Lebanon hanging on to a 7-0 lead over the Admirals of Farragut High School. The winner of this game advances to the second round next week against the winner of Dobbins Bennett and Riverdale. This reminder, you're listening to this football game on KM Country, and you're watching it on Lebanon Cablevision 3. Lebanon comes out with a second down in about seven and a half, 108 and a half. Triplet sends Reader in motion. Back to pass, out there to Moe. Moe caught it up on 25, tries to dance away. Got away from one man, got close to a first down. It might be a foot or so short. That will keep the clock going if it's short. They look across the way, they may have to bring the chain. Oh, they say first down. First down, Lebanon up on the 30. I think they're gonna put it down, if they ever do, on the 33. First down, Lebanon, that stopped the clock. Well, it didn't stop the clock. It just kept on rolling now, and Coach Mark Medley wants some time put back on that thing. The clock probably run 10 more seconds after they had signaled timeout. So now we've got to come to the clock operator, I think. And I believe they'll put it back at around 55 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. That or they will hold the clock for one play, and that's apparently what they're going to be doing. Uh, John, it appears to... John, it appears to us they will be holding the clock for one play. Is that your interpretation? An eight or ten second uh, time period there, Tommy. The uh, clock uh, continued to run after the first down was called. Uh, stop. The clock stops, allows the chain crew to move, of course, and uh, they're either going to set it back uh, eight to ten seconds or they're going to delay the clock eight to ten seconds. Back up to you. So Coach Mark Medley and the referee has come over to the clock operator, which he did, and the, you could see him saying first down and trying to stop the clock, but it never would stop. And now let's see what they do with the clock. It's 45 seconds, but I think they'll hold that thing for a while. He explains it to the Farragut coach, and now head towards our bench and Coach Mark Medley. John, what do you got? Or Tommy asked him what he's got. John, what about it? We're sending it to you. That's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to snap the ball, Tommy, and then uh, the uh, Mr. White Hat will count down 10 seconds, and then they'll start the clock. So it's 55, like we said, instead of 45. Triplet takes the ball back to pass, runs a draw up the middle. Sellers got a little daylight outside and got knocked down on a 39. We were trying to surprise him with a draw and we did pretty well at it he got